Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lamb Plays, The Binding of Isaac after Birth Plus. Let's do it. I've decided, let's do it. Last run, we played as Blue Baby on regular mode, well, hard mode, and we lost, um, error between keyboard and chair, perhaps. You know what? Let's try to make it work. A speed upgrade is not the worst first item as the keeper. It's not good. Wouldn't go that far, but it's not the worst. You know what? Give me the guaranteed something here. Perfect. Six cents for a single uh, penny, I think, or for a single bomb, I think is okay here. We'll take the key as well. Here's our seed. 1E0RE7DT. I have a pet theory, and that theory is that... Well, first off, Magic Mush is good, but let's not take it yet. Because we might be able to get uh, more value out of the Magic Mush if we take it after we take the deal with the Devil, just to see what the deal with the Devil is. Although, deals with the Angel might be better. It's always, uh, it's always a little twisted as the Keeper, I think, because you can only give yourself a 50% chance of getting a deal with the Angel. I, I think I'd rather have like a 100% chance of getting a deal with the Devil and then hoping to get an HP upgrade, but I'm gonna resist the temptation to do any, uh, back of the napkin style, uh, empirical analyses right now, because they haven't always worked out for me well in the past. We still want to take as little damage as possible for reasons that are, you know, beyond the obvious with uh, the Binding of Isaac to begin with, you know, that taking damage oftentimes has a, a good correlation with you dying and being bad. Um, run. The more damage we take, the less money we get directly because our, our money is our HP, so... Um, Right now, honestly, it's going pretty well, I gotta say. We haven't been overrun by any of the enemies so far. Um, but anyway, my, my pet theory was that it'll actually... If you took a smattering of runs, I think you would succeed more on greedier mode as the Keeper than you would as the Lost. Although I think the Keeper is a, a much tougher character on a normal run. I think the Lost might be tougher in greedier mode just because you only need money to beat... Wow, that was close. You only need money to get HP as Greed. Every time you get a hit against the Ultra Greed bosses, you're going to gain money. Because it's going to drop money on the ground. As long as you pick that up, and you don't let the boss pick it up, I think you're going to be fine. I'm going to go with the Tears upgrade. Tears upgrades are very good when you have Triple Shot. In my opinion, in my experience, I should say, because it's not just an opinion, but in my experience, that tends to be the case. Because instead of getting like a three or a minus three tier delay, you get a minus five. Now, mind you, our, our rate of fire is still relatively bad, but you have to balance that with the fact that we also have uh, we also have triple shot. So if we can ever land more than one shot simultaneously we're feeling pretty good dude i'm actually stoked at this with the speed at which we killed ragman especially a champion version of ragman i was like that guy is gonna be annoying we might be able to make our dreams come true here now what am i looking for the same thing i look for in any uh keeper run we need nun's habit if possible that would be very helpful swallowed penny would also be amazing any form of, like, invincibility. We could even... I think there is a, a decent case to be made. Let's just go fight the boss here. I think there is a decent case to be made that we could actually get rid of Wooden Nickel as the Keeper on Greedier Mode. Because we, we're gonna get so much money anyway that it does... It, the, like, the... It <laughs> da, 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 duel. No, it's not. Um, what I'm getting at is that it's uh, not necessary to have wooden nickel to get HP reliably because every time a wave spawns, we're going to get at least one or two half red heart equivalents, basically. Now, we want as much money as possible so we can keep buying stuff. I'm not looking to get rid of the wooden nickel like right away. All I'm saying is that if we find a. Com Ooh, that was dumb. If we find a compelling space bar item. That seems like it could do the trick for us, like like tarot cloth, and then blank card algae. Just throwing that out there as an option, that would be worth it for me, I think. So, I mean, at this point, do you take? 
Necronomicon? I, I guess you do. But I'll accept that probably not everybody is going to agree with this and there will be um, people who think the deal with the devil is the better play. and uh, Or a deal with the angel is the better play. But we can't guarantee a deal with the angel. If I could guarantee it, I would be potentially more uh, easily swayed to be in that camp, I think. But without being able to guarantee it, I... Uh, I'll take the devil I know over the devil I don't. Although I still think that expression is stupid because maybe the devil you'd know is a devil and the devil you don't know is... Another HP upgrade means a free deal with the devil. Um, maybe the devil you don't know is not a devil. Maybe he's actually kind of a nice guy. Anyway, um, I would like to get a bomb. Let's buy a key. And then we'll hit the button. We got a bomb. This floor should be easier than the last floor. I don't know about that one. I'm going to have to think. Um, that wh Here's what I worry about. Here's why I'm concerned about that. That might cause us to have an even... If, let's run out the, the flowchart here for possible options, you know? Maybe it does nothing because we already have triple shot. Maybe it gives us six shots but doesn't fuck our rate of fire. Or maybe it gives us six shots and fucks our rate of fire. Or maybe it continues to give us three shots and fucks our rate of fire. That's why I'm a little frightened about this. You know, two, one of those options is awesome. Two of those options are kind of like semi-neutral. Because we can always get more tiers upgrades in the future, hopefully to compensate. If we get six shots out of it, it might feel like it's the right call at least. Um... And one of those options is is nearly catastrophic. But you know me, same old G. Uh, I'm I'm probably gonna go for triple shot, triple shot. And you know why? I can't come up with a good reason why. It doesn't even matter how hard I try. Um, keep that in mind. This uh, greedy run I've designed to explain in due time. Either way, um, no. My my point here is I'm me, and I have triple shot, and I see triple shot. I'm a simple man. I see confusion. I embrace it. Let's pick it up. So it definitely fucked our rate of fire, but it gave us six shots. So that means, as far as I'm concerned, you go in here, you buy the tiers upgrade at the cost of a damage downgrade. And I feel still fine about this, honestly. Um, six shots with a, uh, a pretty good rate of fire. Is it as good as three shots with a great rate of fire? I don't necessarily think so. However, you know, it's going to give us like a really wide swath of coverage. I can't deny that. So we'd be really hoping for uh, a DPS or damage specifically increase on the uh, deal with the devil, I think. You know, for each one of these shots to be more potent is great. I don't know. I'm starting to think that this may actually be uh, the right call. Because we're hitting with a much greater percentage of shots. I guess we're fighting an enemy with a large hitbox, so it's... A little rich to just claim that this is the for the best right now, but um, I mean that went pretty well. I think we should use a bomb to try for a reroll. I don't want the D4, I think, but maybe that's me being a little baby back bitch. Uh, do you check it for two of diamonds? How much money do we have out here? Um, we can get to 21 cents, which means we could still get one more reroll. It's a two of hearts, unfortunately. I thought maybe that would give us flies. Doesn't even matter how hard you flies. Um, belly button could be good if it gives a swallowed penny. It's kind of a risk, but I'm gonna take a I'm gonna take a crack at it. Goat hoof is fine, and if we get other um, options for this in the future, wait, do you have coins in your eyes? No. Uh, if we get other uh, opportunities for trinkets in the future, I think I'm gonna be relatively happy that we took that. I think this is ooh, careful. It's one of those uh, things that in greedier mode you have to consider that. Belly button is maybe not that good on a regular run, but with the keeper, basically you're buying yourself space for another passive that hopefully will just show up naturally. So the worst case scenario is we paid 15 cents for a speed upgrade, but the truth be told, we want to keep goat hoof. We don't give a shit about the shop key because we can't spend a key to go to the shop regardless. So what do we care? Okay, no Krampus. We've got an HP upgrade. It's a perfect time to take a, a DPS increase. Fuck. <laughs> it's Krampus. In case you're... In case uh, audio-only listeners out there, it's uh, it's Krampus. Lump of coal would be fine, though. Krampus' is head. So, I mean, this is a perfect put-your-money-where-your-mouth-is moment. If you really think that you can afford to get rid of... Uh, 
to get rid of the wooden nickel, that's the time to do it. So uh, basically, I'm a big puss. I'm going to take Placenta. I don't know if Placenta actually gives you flies as the keeper. It seems like it should, but it may not. I still think that we're in a pretty good spot right now. Uh, HP. Again, I'm never going to insult that as long as we have deal with the devil chances. And then on here, um, for five cents, we get a key. I'm going to take a bit of a, a, a risk on this and hope to get five cents. We got the four cents. Lazy worm. Not very good. Um... So we could have just taken that coin and then left. The thing is, uh, that's a uh, help. That's a uh, penny or that that key in there charges our spacebar item. However, it's not the right spacebar item to charge. Like wooden nickel doesn't give us enough of a benefit to be super stoked about picking that up. If we if we have to, you know, if we get one penny out of it, that's fine. Like it's it's just extra value without us having to pay anything at all. However, I would not be averse to maybe thinking about how that impacts our uh, our choice of what items to take. We're definitely going to take a key to stave off revolt, and you know we got magic mush in our item room. It's not like it's not like it hasn't been working out for us to take keys. We should probably stop standing there, um, knowing that enemies can spawn there, dude. Stop jumping, you fucking dick. I don't want to pick up all this money, but somebody's got to. All right. Uh, leave like a few cents here and, and leave them a little scattered, I think, as well. So we're going to start with the key. And we should use this key to get a free key. It also gave us a, another penny. And we get a justice card. And the justice card is also good. Okay. So we're at 16 cents with a couple of bombs. Two keys. Go check out our item room. Item room has given us Book of Sin. The Necronomicon pick now is uh, not looking as bad. Because it took us closer to our bookworm transformation. But obviously we can't use that long term. Kind of sucks. Do we care about range plus luck? I think no. And we don't really care too much about deep pockets right now. We're kind of looking for things a little bit better. Um, we should take a tiers upgrade for 15 cents. And that's a very good tiers upgrade. We're down to fifth, or, uh, 16 for tier delay. Which I think, you know, starting to put us... I'm not going to say like in a... In a, like, 10 out of 10 situation, but a pretty freaking good situation here. This guy can still get on your ass without a doubt, but, you know, even if we're, if we're only landing 5 out of 6 shots... That was bad. If we're only landing 5 out of 6 shots, so be it. We're still making great progress here. This guy is only surviving because he takes uh, no damage when he's jumping. That was very good. So we have 15 cents again. Anything we like in here? We don't need HP. Mama Mega is, is unnecessary. So we're just going to wait it out. Because we may want to... Uh, we may want to use a uh, our HP upgrade to pick up a deal with the devil. That's fine. Lost a, a little bit of money on this floor, but that's what it's there for, honestly. Thank God these guys are not doing like. I should say, thank God these guys are not all doing the same bullshit attack. How. I, I can't believe you're that close to one another, but I guess you were. Um, okay, so we can't take Incubus. It's not a good item, but it's free, so we'll take my shadow. And maybe this could contribute to some kind of like economy of scale that works for us. Um. Pick up all our money. Because we have a reroll machine, I'm going to invest just one reroll. And we got to look for two of diamonds as far as I'm concerned. It's two of spades. It's not bad necessarily, but it's probably a little overkill. We're down to the next floor. Um, in, a, in a grindy spot. A spot like we're roughly halfway through the greedier mode run. But I think we can make this work. Um, Lusty Blood is excellent. And we might as well take Latch Key. Now we have more than enough keys, so golden chests become quite nice. Uh, and we have nothing we really want right here. We need money, and then we can justify opening that red chest. So let, let's start... Um, well, let's start. 
Remember that it's very important. To, very important to uh, use the wooden nickel here. Lusty blood is going to it's going to give us like a ridiculous amount of value. I think I just got super scared that those guys were there. Um, you know we can get our damage up to sixteen. That's extremely good. It's gonna be actually. I was just thinking. I was I was gonna say. Oh, it's not gonna be as good. You know, when we get to like the ultra greed fight, but it, it completely is gonna be as good. We just need to let him spawn like three enemies or something, and then we'll start to get our economy working for us. Yeah, lusty blood might be like one of the best greed mode items you can get. There's one wave done already, so. We are going to try, obviously, not to step on the spikes, and we have failed. But we got our HP back. Um, you still have to try that. Pandora's box has given us an HP upgrade. Which means that... Um, let's take a little bit of money. Which means that as long as we don't accidentally walk into it, we can... Um, Ace of Clubs, you means as long as we don't walk into it, we can uh, guarantee ourselves another deal with the devil. Uh, I think I'm just not going to buy anything on this floor. And uh, we're going to save our money for a floor in the future that could work for us. We can use Ace of Clubs. The way that I think we probably want to use Ace of Clubs is to create like two bombs. At the expense of two cents, create two bombs and use those two bombs as rerolls on a future floor. There we go. I, I appreciate what you've just done for us there, Monster 2, by killing the other enemy that we were facing. Respect that greatly. We're already at our damage cap. Might as well fight our next phase, uh, or our next uh, wave. I think that this run could get it done. Is this double bloat? It is double bloat. That's, I mean, it's pretty unfortunate. Please. Thank God for this money, dude. Any shots help? There we go. We got one kill. That's... I'm not going to say that's all that matters, but it's important. Thank God. Okay, we've got HP so we can take a deal with the devil. And there's no deals. We've been very lucky in that regard, except for the fact that it's, you know, unlucky. Um, that we've never really managed to turn it into something incredible. we got 39 cents. We'll save our Ace of Clubs play for the next floor. Um, and I don't think... I mean, sure, 17 cents maybe for a secret room. We take that just because it's a luck upgrade. You know, 17 cents for a secret room maybe seems decent, but... Uh, I don't think it really is. It's probably 17 cents for like three secret rooms uh, via the um, x-ray specs. So I'm not going to worry much about that. Uh, the apple with... Well, it's, first off, it's a tier delay reducer, so I'm okay with that. And I'm okay with uh, Roid Rage as well. But the, uh, the apple with decent luck starts to work very well for us, I think. Polydactyl doesn't do it. So, I think we try something a little wonky here. We need to rebuild our coins, but basically, I didn't want to use Ace of Spades to, uh, to get too many bombs. Single pennies are, are worth more than bombs, I think, for us, uh, past a, a certain equilibrium point. Because of the fact that they're not only, uh... Wow, that, that could have been terrible. I, I'm whiffed on the penny. Uh, because of the fact that they're not only, you know, money and, and fuel for getting more items, but they're also HP for us as well, so. I stand by our decision here, and it, I mean, to me, it seems like it's working out right now. 45 cents, two bombs. So we wanted to use the bombs, because one bomb is worth more than one penny as far as rerolls are concerned. Now, PhD gives us infinite pills. Experimental treatment scares the shit out of me. I know it takes us closer to spun, but if it gives us an HP downgrade, we could easily lose 
and there's no HP upgrade to draw from here, although we could possibly get one pretty easily in the future. I think that's a little too ballsy. And you just know an HP upgrade isn't going to show up when you need one. I think that we get more Razors the higher our luck stat is, so I'm going to take a luck upgrade. And you got to think that Bloody Penny for 5 cents is going to pay for itself in like no time at all here. We also, I think... Um, it may well be in our best interest to just buy as many trinkets as possible, or at least look at the trinkets between each reroll, because Swallowed Penny is extremely valuable. We don't need Mini Mush, um, certainly. Starter deck at, uh, at 7 cents, I think, is absolutely worth it. We get a Chariot card. You never know if that's going to win the run, right? Then you reroll everything else, I think. I have no idea what that is, which means I'm probably going to stay away for now. Uh, blank card chariot. This is what it comes down to, huh? I think I'm gonna take it. Wooden Nickel, uh, has done a good job of making money for us. And actually, you know what? I'm gonna keep Wooden Nickel for now. Just don't use the chariot card right now. I'm gonna keep Wooden Nickel for the rest of the floor. Because we might, like, just by using it for the rest of the floor, we might, if we get a lucky, uh nickel or dime drop, we might be able to have it pay for blank card by itself. So we're going to pick up like a little bit of this money. Of which there actually is a lot. We got four bombs out of it. Um, and we can reroll everything. I don't think I really want Pisces. Maybe. I mean, it's a seven cent tiers upgrade. We can't... We're not at the tier cap yet. So take Torn Photo... Yeah, our rate of fire continues to get better. We don't care at all about... Oh, I'm trying to think about what we don't care about here. I think we want to be able to buy an all stats upgrade. Because that means... First off, it's an all stats upgrade. Secondly, we can pick up a... No. Secondly, we can pick up deals with the devil. Or a deal with the devil, rather. As a result. So I think that there's, like, that's probably the right call. But we need, like, a good deal with the devil, please. Um, we know it's not going to be Krampus. Pick up all the money, though. Beautiful. Lots of bombs. Yeah, it's it's actually amazing, I think. But a little too late. Oh, no. Humbling Bundle would have been amazing. This is just a value add. So we'll take SMB Superfan. We got Blank Card Chariot. So there's other cards that could work for us now as well. Um, but we're down to the next floor. I suppose. I hope... I don't think this is going to screw us. Again, without Nun's Habit or Swallowed Penny... Actually, without Nun's Habit specifically. Swallowed Penny has no impact on this. Um, we don't gain anything from... Uh, From holding the, uh, oh, we might as well for now, but we don't gain anything from holding the wooden nickel past this point. So hear me out here. First off, this guy's got to get bombed. We don't care about any of those items. I mean, theoretically, maybe like void could be good for us, but um, it, I think it's too late to make that very great. Um, so we come in here. And you're going to say, like, what the fuck are you doing? Well, it's very simple. Chariot your way out. Grab some money. Okay. And I guess we would like Blank Card Empress as well. I'm assuming we can't cheese it together, right? Like, we can't do um, Blank Card Empress and then Empress and get a double stat increase. But we will use Blank Card Empress to start with here. It's only a plus 1.81 damage uh, increase, which is not altogether that good. But you know I'm starting to feel the heat here. This is a great uh, greedier mode run. But we need to put ourselves in a position where we don't die against Ultra Greed, which is always a bit of a crapshoot. Well, let's see. Does Double Empress work? It does? So we can blank card Empress and then Empress, but then we can't blank card Chariot card. I don't know. Just I'm planning for the next floor, basically. 
Car battery, yes. That's uh, very good. Pajamas, I don't think matters right now. Nun's habit really, really does matter, actually. If we can get Nun's habit, uh, and, and that's unfortunately a little bit of an if right now. But if we can get Nun's habit, um, that means once every four ru once every four hits, we'll have a doubled uh, chariot card that we can draw from. Oh, be careful! And a doubled chariot card, assuming it actually does give us like double the duration of invincibility, the same way that tarot cloth works, we'd be I mean feeling pretty good about the situation. I think. Now, it usually ends with a stain fight here. Um, so we're going to take Nun's Habit. We're not going to get enough money for that, so it, it's probably irrelevant. The coins. If you get hit, as much as I would prefer not to, if you get hit and there's no coins in sight, press the space bar. Where are you at? Where are you at? Doing a little bullet with butterfly wings down here. Stand near the coins. Did not get hit somehow. Okay, lucky us. Deal with the devil again. Save the money. <laughs> we don't we don't have the money. Finally we gotta deal with the devil worth it. Like Horror of Babylon would be nice, but unnecessary. Okay. What do you do? Well, there's nothing there's nothing else to do. You just well, you look for a secret room and then you go, probably. Which means we, in theory, we might have been able to get, um... Well, actually, I don't, I don't see a secret room, so we're, we're just moving on here. Is there any, uh... Any pots or, like, we could blow up this rock? We could maybe get a three-cent trinket that changes our lives, I suppose? That's not a good bomb. I don't, I don't think we really want to use these bombs on the next floor, so... We get one penny, we could buy a key or a bomb. I guess we will buy a bomb. What a difficult choice. Alright, so how do you handle the uh, next floor? We're relying on getting money every time we get hit and picking it up immediately. Is basically my my thinking. Um, so I think we use the Empress card immediately. Might as well get some money to give. Maybe you need money to pick it up anyway? I don't know. Um... So we're going to rely, we're going to use the Empress card first to give us that stats increase. And then if we, if we ever get hit, I guess in theory, even before we get hit, we should pop blank card, but keys, please. Ah, uh, we don't need keys. Uh, we can break these. Oh, these are not keys. These do not give us a bonus. A bloody lust bonus, I mean, or lusty blood bonus. So, in, I mean, in theory, we should leave the money on the ground, but he'll pick it up. We just, we just have to rely on getting the hits when, you know, after we get hit. I would give us, like, a 25% chance of winning this. And I'm not trying to, like, make it seem like it would be against all odds. I think 25% chances of winning as the keeper is, like, relatively good, actually. Damage is at 18. Might be small room to grow. Fine by me. Um, no, that's it. 18.68. All right. So keys are irrelevant at this point. We're just playing it very simply here. Why use chariot after you get hit? All we do is miss out on um, getting a nun's habit charge. Probably won't cost us, but could. Yeah, actually, I agree with myself in this case. And remember, we're looking for that double invincibility time. Was that double invincibility? It might be. The chariot's relatively small th next to uh, Alge's. That's fine. That's fine. Just don't... Remember, you, you actually gained something there. You gained invincibility. But I, I think the trick is definitely to use invincibility every time it pops up. You're not using it to survive the room, not directly. You're using it to take his HP down further so it's more likely you kill him. Otherwise, you're just wasting resources uh, that instead... Oh, you know what? You should, in the future, 
we should use the chariot, uh, the blank card chariot, after we get, um, after we get hit, just so that we can get to the, um, the coin under invincibility. I think that this, this strategy makes sense. Dude, if we were Guppy, this run would already be over. Oh, okay, you know, I mean, we still got coins on the ground. Fuck it, leave it there. Maybe he'll abandon it somehow. Lucky us. Slightly scary, but we're making good progress. Lots of coins. Where is he? He's coming. She's coming. That's my wife by the who. It's a great song. I'm using it to distract myself right now from the fact that this is a bit of a scary situation. He goes, I'm gonna buy a tank and an aeroplane. When it catches up to me, won't be no time to explain. Thanks, I've been playing no key meta, and that's enough to send her half insane. Does Ultra Greed not take coins? Next hit, we get invincibility. Holy shit, we might actually do it. He's picking up the coins! Invincibility is going to end any second now. I'm twisted, man. I don't want him to take the coins, but I also don't want to take the coins myself. We've done it! I have agreed has appeared in the basement. Alright, well that's uh, one way to do it. Actually, that was like surprisingly easy. All things considered. Uh, we had a pretty powerful run. And then beyond that, uh, just didn't get flustered on the Ultra Greed fight. And all of a sudden, Keeper Greed is done. And the last thing we got to tick off on the post-it note is Blue Baby? What a world. For now, though, thanks for watching. I hope you guys have enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time. No, wait. We still have to do the Keeper uh, alt path, don't we? God damn it.